Good morning, people. Um, I kind of just wake, me get ready. Me actually, the Bussies podcast are moving around the studio today. So, me I carry all of the equipment on my buy, and me I look for which equipment we need to give it. I'm telling you about something. See, they are foreign. No matter how much fun you have, you, know. you see the day when you move or anything like that. Always remember, nobody to buy you. So, see, all I want me to do right now, I have to do it by myself. So, when, when people say, Oh, not put in the work, they are firing them through them deep. I know, my day has begun. I tried a new format, and I feel like I go, I vlog the moving, you know. So, I'm going to move the studio right now. Um, I'm supposed to meet up with the owner. Give her my money and call it my key. Start pop my thing them inside and now I need to go look at couch. I need to go look at um, two seats. My heart at the background them already. You know, I have a couple of things left to get. Today will be a long day, man. Today and tomorrow. Why the wall them? Have a purple. So you know, people them come set up the internet and when the internet set up tomorrow tomorrow I forget some furniture in here couch carpet you know sweep out the ground and everything here no problem tell the same is a man who do it myself people would think I joke you know see it you now I rent a U-Haul I come park my car Park the car in that space there and then make sure some go pick up buy some furniture for offer up because you know where I feel in the struggle, you know, where I make the move. Big risk this me take right now for even I get this, but hey, we have to do what we have to do. So I'm gonna look for be a cheap furniture now for try and make, make sure say the place and the space look decent, you know. I may try to do it on a budget so to be very mindful in a life nothing trying nothing done you know so I look for it you know so right you know park my car people don't normally see them behind the I'm about to tour people don't normally see them behind the seat but welcome to the life I'm telling you something else more foreign one if a friend me have a foreign. And you see when a time to move or do whatever, you dip on your own. So I always tell you, you see in America, you stand alone. And when I say that, people think I joke me I make. You just have to just do your thing and try and make sure you say oh, anything where you do, you just do it to the best of your abilities. But that place here, yeah? yeah, man, when everything nice and dandy, everybody call your phone when a time for go out, man. When a time for you do nothing, work wise, planning anything, just prepare for no say yo, I you alone and do it. Alright, so then ready for pick up the coffee. For the coffee table? Yeah. Alright. That's good. Alright, so one coffee table. And this can seat now, back seat. Over there, so yeah man, just buy it, you know? $40 Because people think I don't have to add up them here I got $40 in a spending Road again Even me tell you say, in the world we have to do them things ourselves you know? So now I'm going to buy a Buy a little couch A little office desk What's up? It's good I'm here This is nice So So I have a desk I have a desk I have a coffee table Alright, now we need a chair and a coach. What's the card? Oh, my can't cost bad right now. Huh? 
and we move on again. Long in the U-Haul again. Uh, people feel like say are in a joke thing. My granny tell me if you want good, your nose have to run as you see us when she said that. Keep on me there again. The second Hi, oh, what's up? Wow. wow. You can check it before if you want. Yeah, if you guys have any, you guys don't have any more of these, right? Uh, I will ask you. Okay, okay. I, I can lift it. You see, for everybody who are watching them episode and not subscribe yet, but as I hope say, after today, I'm going to subscribe because John you know. Yo, my body now, chuck no aim, I drive a truck in a man, the truck is trucking. <laughs> but big man thing, if you're not subscribed yet, just do the right thing, the place. Yo, on the feel like say, put we put in the work, you know, watch a thrift store with there. Wait till we're done with the place. <laughs> Them think I'm joking. What a joke. You know how I want that. People, trust me, man. We'll get some piece of things, man. Missing on a carpet. Welcome to the Boss Series Podcast, where the voice is loud and the reason is raw. I am your host, Dale Elliott. You know, people, as you can see, there's a lot of changes. Um, I have a studio now. I invest in myself because I believe in myself. And I aim to bring quality content, you know, consistently. I to try to post as much as possible. And make sure to subscribe. So you see the topic we're going to talk about today. The topic we're going to talk about today is that a topic where a lot of people scared of, a lot of people fear. Um, you see, manifesting and consistency are two of the most important things them. When I feel like I always I preach. And it, it's been a while since I come here and I reason with you know. By myself, cause although I have people who come on the show and I interview people, me like when me can sit down and hold a reason with you. And the very first Bus Series podcast episode my post was when me and my house, me never have the right technology them and me never really know what to do, but me just Put something together and we just post it. Everything you do in a life, you have to pray for grow. So you girl out there, or you boy out there, anything we do, you have to pray for get better and better at it. Especially if you love it. And you have to conquer your fear of failure. So even this, the fact that me can go rent somewhere and set it up and said this is now going to be the bus series podcast home it's a big risk me take it's a big jump me take but without risk there can be no reward and me hope me i motivate somebody out there right now where want something and free it for do it but the first thing you have to do i manifest it the words of your mouth is so powerful. And if you realize, majority of the people them were forward upon the podcast, them said the same thing. Your words are so powerful. You have to see yourself and do it first before anybody. And you can't pay attention to people who not do it. Because some of the time, for them comments, I got always skewed. Because them fear to step out of them shell and go try something. You see, like how me is a man who always a try. You know, I move from Jamaica come to California with no family. Try. You know, I take all the steps them when I need to take. Me constantly work 
upon my interview skills, my read the comments them and say, alright, then hear me I cut off them people are too much or I need to stop cut off the artist them. Me need to look more professional. Me need to try to grow my thing. And me have to keep on and do it gradually. But if you watch my first episode, me tell you somebody that I go do this. I always tell people what me I go do. Me don't believe in that moving silence thing there. Me tell people what me I go do. Now, anything in a life, what you want to do. You see, as long as you make up your mind, say, yo, me I go do it. Only you can stop you, you know. Only you can stop you. And although people are going to have a lot of things to say upon your journey, when you move forward, you are going to leave them behind. Because at the end of the day, you have to push yourself beyond any limits where you think you might have because nobody now going to do it for you. And always remember, we are not getting younger. So if you feel like you have something where you want to express or put into the world. If you feel like you have a life-changing opportunity in front of you and you not really make you sight, I feel like you need to get up and go do something about it. And the reason why I mention manifesting is because you have to say you're going to do it, you have to talk about it, but actions, actions mean a lot more than words. So you see, if every day I did that, talk to you know, and I try to motivate you know, to do certain things and me not do it, my message would have dropped on deaf ears because there would be no progress being made. So when me go ahead and me, me get certain, let me tell you so people, every single dollar me ever make from YouTube go into this. Every single check me ever make from YouTube, me put it in a this. I can't say me buy a bag juice out of my YouTube money. Because I believe in what I do. And if me feel, if me feel, me feel good in myself. If you know, say me did try. And at that, me I try to motivate people for do. Because I always explain, you see, when you take a risk, when you take a risk and you do something, things always fall into place. And the reason why I say that is, I day here and I make the video them on my own. And I say, yo, I want to go to Florida because I need to go interview some people. I need to find with them there. And I reach out to people. I say, yo, Trabas, give me a strength. Shoot a podcast with me. I say, Gallus in Paris, shoot a podcast with me. I DM Cubans. I say, yo, Cubans, shoot a podcast with me. Every single segment when I shoot with somebody, I learn and it motivates me even more. That's why I try to get people from all walks of life. Because I try to educate you know, and make you realize that yo, people in America are do it. And most successful people have the same story. Nobody never believe them. Them just try and them just start. Just like with my YouTube right now, me just start. And all of them love what they do. And me have more successful people to come on the podcast too. Now remember, this is not going to be an artist-centric podcast where I only go focus on the music industry. Right now, me I try to get Jamaican people from all walks of life that are in the States and surviving and, and working hard and by doing that, me I try to educate people, but you know, I have no idea how much me I educate and I motivate myself as well. For instance, after I do that interview with Cubans, on the flight back home, I couldn't sleep because I wanted an office. Because when I went to visit Cubans, I didn't need to carry any equipment. Because everything that I wanted to shoot was already there. And that is when you know that you have to be professional in everything you do. So, he's doing me a favor by giving me an interview. But when I got there with all my equipment, he already had everything. 
the setup, the space, him have everything. And that sort of rub me away where, Dale, if you are going to do this thing, do it the right way. Since I've been in LA, I have been um, working exponentially harder to, to better my craft, especially in like comedy, in my Instagram and I work hard and I grow every day and then when you surround yourself with a certain level of people and you see for them work ethic, you have to emulate it. So I hope me I motivate somebody to do the same. When I go around King Bash, I see say yo him write script, him have him, him have a house where him go shoot, him take him thing very serious. And there is a thing in Jamaica or a Jamaican culture where I am trying so hard to break out of and it is the fact that we as Jamaicans we try to do everything alone and we don't really help each other we not do it because I like uh, it's not the animosity we have amongst anybody but we just feel like as Jamaicans we kind of over here so and everybody just segregate and separate and when we come together all is well, but we know we know help each other build. I remember one and can clap. So yeah, me there so I carry this so far and so much by myself. But all I me get, the more me learn. Now me I realize me I gonna need a team. So on the hero me I manifest it. On the hero me I say it, me I gonna need a team. And when me get the team, me I gonna need somebody where I edit. And me I gonna need somebody where I shoot. You know, I need somebody where I can pay for travel around with me and bring whatever content I decide to bring to Uno or whoever. So, and nothing try, nothing done. Because all the people, I just DM them, you know. Say, yo, if, can you do the podcast? If it's either yes or no. But I know, it, it know, the most I can get a no. And I feel so good with trying, even if things don't work out. I am a trier and me is a doer. Me no stop. Me can't stop. Me cannot afford to stop. Me is a risk taker. And now me I do something with me love and something with me believe in. And me just want somebody out there find where you love and find where you believe in and work hard to be successful at what you do. Because you see the mouth and the mind, you see if you think it, and you go around it, and you start to see it, and you put your hand on it, and you feel it, you can own it. It can be yours. That dream the way in your mind can be a reality, but you have to make steps towards it. And the only way you can actually be successful in anything. So, the man with the woman sit down and think about it, now nah, go ever be successful. Because you just the woman sit down and think about it. What about getting up and going out there to get it? You sitting home thinking about it or saying it, don't make it happen. You have to work towards it. So much things can fall into place by you making one step. Because everything is a domino effect. Since I get this space, now I can be like, yo, invited to my podcast. No, because it looks professional and everything is a numbers game. That's why I'm asking you to subscribe. Because the more subscriptions I get, and the more it is easier for me to get certain people on the platform. But at the same time, I have to be working hard on my platform to build it enough so that when people see it, it don't seem as disrespectful because me I put in the work and you have a catalog already. But everything where I happen right now, me did say me I gotta do it. Me did predict it. I'm not afraid. Me not afraid of nothing. Like me find myself I spend all money where me not have. And the reason why I do this is because I love it and because I believe it. And youth, 
you girl. Because you know, come like a mostly man when you think me I talked to, but anybody out there will believe in a something, you have to do it. You have to do it and you have to consistently do it too. You have to develop structure. Structure is what really caused me to grow. Structure. My structure is wake up in the morning, eat my breakfast, exercise, make two Instagram videos, focus on my podcast, see if I can get an interview, see if I can shoot a podcast by myself. Now is World Cup time. I have some single content can make for World Cup. But it's me physically I do it. It's me I do it myself. And sometimes you will feel like you overwork yourself. But every time you feel like you are stopping you know, at the door that way I go break through, you know. The breakthrough, the right out there, so. So that's why I love when I forward you, so. And raise you with up on a level where you can do it too. What I do right now, if you believe in yourself, you can do it. So don't make nobody come tell you, say, yo, negative. Don't make nobody tell you no negative things. Because negative people always feel. Negative people don't even try to even feel. That is how bad it is. But negative people are vital because you need them people. Eh? Sometimes I need negative comments. I need people to tell me, say, yo, this need to fix up, blah, 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 this boring. I need that. Because that is how I get better. And it's simple. It's simple, you know. Look at a lot of successful people and look at, they're always getting criticized, you know. Successful people are always criticized. And perfect example, you can see a football player been playing professional football all of him life win everything his biggest criticizer as you know is always going to be probably one big fat man sit on sit down i watch him match you know i say yo you know good you keep the ball and you miss just like football yeah man when you play ball you see man on the sideline the man on the sideline have the most chat oh we miss that me can't yo them brother you're not good a people that in a real life I see thing is him don't have the ability to get where you reach. So him feel like him must start down upon you. Because in a female heart, probably that way him did one do, and him regret. So one, him never brave enough to try to do it himself. Him never physically capable enough to try to do it himself. Him never have the talent to try to do it himself. Him never have the guts and the courage to get up and go try nothing. So see, see people like that, people like that need it because they need to stay up on the sideline. And people like that always come around when they realize you're serious. And when they realize you do what you say you're going to do. And a year is now me I do this. Years now me I do this, but room wasn't necessarily building a day. I am doing this now for four months. And in four months, I have 40,000 subscribers. And I've managed to do some good interviews and I've managed to teach people a lot of things. But we just want people to understand, say, yo, whatever you are doing in life and anywhere you go in life, it's possible, super possible for you to make it in a whatever you do. And especially if you love it. That are the key. See, when you manifest it in your life, you have to be consistent at it. And you see, when you be consistent at it, failure is going to come, you know. But the rewards are going to Because there are formulas that successful people use where has never been proven to not work. Me only hope you don't understand that. Because, for instance, right now I'm there, so. And any business you do, you have to start thinking about niche. You have to think about niche marketing. 
and my niche right now i am trying to target a very broad audience and i don't want to specifically lock myself in a certain niche where not beneficial to me in terms of my brain and advancing me so me try stay and then you have to try stand out try differentiate yourself but you will always have somebody some naysayer feel like them for say something negative or somebody where we always feel like they must tell you what you for do no taking advice is good you know it's always good to take advice you know? but you can't really make people shift you out of your part because too much too much bad energy no good and too much advice no good either sometimes if you leave a man make him feel I mean, say watch him don't fall you know leave a man make him feel and if you can help a man you help him because with a life me tell you say yo me do this without no help at all uno help me everybody uno help me everybody where i watch this right now uno make this possible so when you do something and if you tell yourself say every day me i wake up me i gotta do this every day me i wake up me i gotta do this easy for maintain you know and when you break it at that the hardest time for catch back and when you're under certain pressure financial pressure when you're under pressure from outside people that's why it's always good be very mindful of your partner you see when you go through anything or you try bill make sure say you have a partner where i help you bill are dead of fear them now for dead financially but somebody were dead of fear somebody we know we care about you and want the best for you and want to see you grow you need them people around you i'll do a negative energy with present but when me tell you say far indifferent because me there so right now me do this majority of the moving and them thing that me do it by myself one friend help me. One friend help me. I tell a man when you're there foreign, you're kind of there for your own, you know. And you look at them furniture right now and you say, so, all right, then yeah, the furniture look good and them things, but a whole heap of work I put in for getting them furniture. Yeah. First of all, I buy them furniture up and offer up. Yeah. I buy that furniture yeah, for $30 for offer up and old lady with be a cat. And when I drive to the yard, I have to dust my dust and be a cat things after of this. I have the video there, I have shown it. $40. I buy the furniture over there so for $150. I buy a coffee table for $40. I buy the light. I buy this. I carry a lamp from my yard. I buy a Dex for $70. I drive around. I rent a U-Haul. I drive around in my U-Haul by myself. That's why I say sometimes you have company don't expect people to help you until you start help yourself help yourself first especially as man sometimes as man you have to go there and you have to suffer yeah man me have to learn how to do certain things maybe want to have a tv near me have two tv in my yard me care one tv come put up in us so and no me not a tv in my bed me can't do without it i have a laptop a growth where i look for a better way i plan to get better stronger way i plan to get stronger so I always have to motivate a man for just stuff. Believe in what you do and just do it, yeah, dog. But if you do it halfway, it not going to work. Invest in a way you believe in. As it make $50, put back the $50 a night. Double this game. If you make a grand, put back a grand. And just move it, move it, move it. Keep it going. A life. One thing you don't want in a dog. You don't want when you reach a certain age and somebody asks you what you do, you're not proud to tell them what you do, you know. That's probably one of the most shameful things, you know. When somebody says, What do you do? You don't have nothing to say. Or you only can tell them what, you know, you can't tell them nothing concrete. You end up at do something where you know love. Or something where just pay the bill. 
which is okay for anybody who want that, but anybody who did want better for themselves. Trust me, man. Regret is a hell of a thing, you know. You know I regret nothing, you know. Because I promise you, you know. You have more people out there with regrets so they never try than people who try and fail. I'm 100% sure that you have a whole heap of people right now where them time pass and them sit down at them yard and they say, Yo, you know, say, I could have did cook one time. Look how I could have opened my restaurant. Yo, one time I did fast like bolting, but I never liked train. You know them thing there? Them thing they lick man chip when them reach certain age, you know. So you see when you're young and able bodied, I you have the opportunity now for try trial and error phase because in your twenties, belief says a trial and error phase, you know. Don't afraid try, feel, do something. Your twenties is a time where so confusing though, because you see between like twenty three to like thirty, people still are consider you young, but they must say you're a big man. Then they must say, yo, you're supposed to get married and start family. But they must say, yo, you're also a focus by yourself. And then they must say, yo, you're for build your career. But then you say, Jan, you know, me just want to hurry up and get that work so we can pay the bills them. So your 20s, very mixed up and rocky. Relationship-wise, everything-wise. And you now you can get it together. And everybody get it together. Me not have it together. But I have no idea how much I help me. By me helping Uno. You ever hear the Jamaican term one and one and wash the other? And that happen right now. So we just want to know how powerful manifesting is. Because me manifest this. I may go continue. I may did stay consistent. I may did telling us I may go do it. I may do it. Enough respect to everybody out there. Just look forward for content every day on a regular basis. So big up on yourself. I'm out.